Welcome back, Trailblazers. I'm Daniel Price. And I'm Megani Kuchipudi. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Vanguard News. On today's show, we'll be covering meal pricing changes, an introduction to a new AP, and much more. Over the last few years, there's been an uptick in teachers leaving the profession. Many teachers have claimed they're underpaid and overworked. Tanvi explains why educators are seeking alternative careers. Many teachers throughout the nation, including Texas, have recently indicated that they feel undervalued in the profession. I spoke with a former Texas teacher who wishes to remain anonymous. She stated that her primary reason for her departure was long hours and low wages. She said that she often had to grade for hours at home and frequently worked 70 to 80 hours a week. Here in Frisco ISD, administrators are working to improve teacher retention through a number of measures. The district has actively worked to increase salaries and increase benefits for our staff, um, including um, access to workout facilities, mental health uh, resources, um, health insurance. Many educators said that while there has been progress, there are still more improvements that need to take place. Our district, while we made great gains this year in, in terms of increasing um, our, um, our salary for educators, we have to continue to do so. We have to stay out in front of it so we can maintain and take care of those that are taking care of our kids. I'm Tom V. Matty, reporting for Vanguard TV. With 549 freshmen on campus this year, there are a variety of experiences for different students. Blakely Jameson found out how some of the students are adjusting to a life at LTHS. And then don't forget. With almost three weeks of school already gone by, the class of 2026 is adjusting to life at Lebanon Trail. Some freshman students opted to take advanced placement courses and they said they're enjoying opportunities they afford thus far. This year I'm taking two AP classes and overall I'm not too stressed about them because the teachers are really nice and helpful. In addition to being able to take AP courses, freshmen have also indicated that the transition from middle to high school has been a positive experience. Having classes A day and B day is more easier. You have more time by yourself and you have more time in class to finish your work. Though they're only in their first year, many freshmen have said they have ambitious goals to achieve by the end of high school. Elective-wise, I'd like to make varsity football team and maybe even the top band. For any freshmen still learning to adjust to a new environment, LTHS staff are available to provide any needed assistance. I'm Blakely Jamison reporting for Vanguard TV. Many teachers throughout the U.S. take on extra jobs in addition to their work at their schools. Dean Sainju spoke with LTHS librarian Miss Hill to learn more about her part-time role as a tour guide for a local sports team. According to the Paris News, in 2021, 82% of teachers in America said they had second jobs, and that number is continuously rising. Lebanon Trail's librarian, Miss Hill, works at the Star to earn additional income. My choice to take another job was because before I was a librarian, I used to teach English and I coached and I had no time on my hands. I was busy all the time. And so when I stopped coaching, I had all this empty time like after school and stuff. And so I got bored and decided I wanted to find a job that was fun. I had a good time and it was like just something different. Miss Hill has been working for the Dallas Cowboys for five years now. She said her favorite part is meeting people from all over the country. I met a guy one time who was actually from Pennsylvania and he had driven like all through the night to come down to see the star and take a tour. But what was funny about that is because he lived in Eagles territory and of course the Cowboys, the Eagles have a big rivalry. We don't get along. And so it was fun just to hear him talk about, you know, his experience of living in Eagles country and how it, the Cowboys are so hated up there, but how he was so excited to come down. Um, I remember his first name was Bruce. So yes, he stood out. It was very fun meeting. It's, lot, it's fun meeting lots of fans like that who are just so excited to be here in Frisco and just to be in around the Dallas Cowboys organization. Um, it's always fun meeting people like that. Miss Hill said that she is looking forward to the upcoming Cowboys season and hopes to continue to be part of the Legends team as long as she can. I'm Dean Sainju, reporting for Vanguard TV. In keeping with local sports, Ethan Wu highlights LT athletes competing on the field, court, and courses in this week's Blazer Sports. A new school year calls for preparation as the LTHS sports teams begin their training for the current and upcoming seasons. Football began training for its first game last Friday against Princeton, walking away with a 7-14, an unfortunate loss. Head coach Sad Jackson said that a good team relationship is integral to the team's success. Some of the things we just did was just trying to become closer as a family. You know, build a chemistry amongst the kids and uh, have them more accountable and responsible toward each other. Moving from the field to the court, Volleyball began its season in early August and currently has an 8-win, 6-lose record. 
The Blazers beat 3-1 against Frisco High School last Friday. Head coach Chelsea Parker said the team has put in extra efforts this year to build good relationships and that many players have taken on leadership roles. We're looking to build our volleyball families, but um, today, for example, Major Billings came in and did a program workout with all the girls. It helped them with their communication and support of each other because they were all kind of in the trenches together. Training at the same time are LT's tennis and cross-country teams with their first competitions in late August. LTH's cross country finished at 23rd place with a team score of 645 at the South Lake Carroll meet last Saturday. On Tuesday, tennis will take on Heritage on the Heritage Courts at 4.30 p.m. and volleyball will face off against Lone Star in the Lone Star gyms at 6.30 p.m. On Friday, football will play against Val Alistine in Coy Kendall Stadium at 7 p.m. Cross country at Fossil Ridge and volleyball against Wakeland in the Wakeland gym at 5.30 p.m. I'm Ethan Wu, reporting for Vanguard News. That's all we have for this week, Blazers. Thank you for watching Vanguard News. I'm Megana Kuchifudi. And I'm Daniel Price. Vanguard News, signing off for the week.